Hi, welcome to the channel. This video covers the unboxing and setup of a Wi-Fi range extender TP-Link AV1000. The exact model number of this product is TLWPA7517 kit. The unique feature of this device is it uses the existing electrical wiring to extend the Wi-Fi range in your house. Let's open the box and check out what we get in the retail box. The first thing at the top is a quick installation guide and then we get two ethernet cables. This device is split into two different segments. You have this adapter right here which is smaller than the second unit. You need to plug this into the power outlet and connect it to the router LAN port via an ethernet cable. Then. We have this extender unit which we need to plug into the power outlet on the same electrical circuit where we need the internet. It will create a Wi-Fi signal with an ethernet port on the left side to connect to devices such as computers, gaming consoles, etc. through a LAN cable. Now let's have a closer look at the TP-Link AV1000 power line range extender and see how it works. Based on the instruction manual, first we need to plug both the adapter and extender into the power outlet in the same room. If you have only one open wall outlet, you can connect it to the power strip. It is for initial setup purposes. Once you are done with the setup, connect this adapter to the wall outlet and this extender in a different room where you want the internet Wi-Fi range. So let me plug the adapter and extender into the power strip. Connect the adapter to the router using the ethernet cable. It is preferred to use the ethernet cable provided in the box. Press and hold the pair button for one second in the adapter. Once power LED starts blinking, press the pair button on the extender. You can find it on the right side of the device. Wait for 1 or 2 minutes to complete the power line network. Once the pairing is complete, the blinking of LED lights will stop. Once the setup is complete, move the extender unit to the Wi-Fi dead spot and plug it into the power outlet. Connect to the Wi-Fi network using the default SSID. You can find the default SSID and password at the top of the extender unit. Now. Let us compare the speed test between the router and the extender. This is my home Wi-Fi network. Let me test the speed. So this is my internet speed on the home router. Next, let me connect to the AV1000 and test out the speed. As you can see, they have very similar speeds. That's it for this video on TP-Link AV1000 unboxing and setup. If you have any questions, please write in the comment section below. Thank you for watching this video. Please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more such tips and tricks videos.